I've got an 8 inch steel target hanging there at 10 yards, or about 30 feet. Let's see if I can make it dance with the tiny revolver. <laughs> so, the little 22 short didn't make the steel target dance very well, but it did make it sing when I hit it. Anyway, I guess I should get this video officially started. Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here, and welcome back to the range. It is Wednesday. I promised you guys that each Wednesday evening for the rest of 2022 that I'd shoot this little tiny revolver into some common household items and today we're going to be doing the half inch pine board test been requested many times in the comments section i've gotten pretty much all these ideas from your guys's comments this is a half inch thick pine board so i'm going to set this up and shoot it using the same ammunition that i've used in every video the cci hollow point 22 short 27 grain bullet rated at 1105 feet per second. The revolver, of course, is the North American Arms 22S, chambered for 22 short. This is a half-inch pine board. The Army established many years ago that it requires 59 foot-pounds to pierce this wood. If a projectile will go through half-inch pine, it's potentially lethal. I've got my half inch thick pine board held in place by my rusty, crusty, musty, dusty, albeit trusty wood clamp. All right, here we go. Half inch thick pine board lethality test with the NAA 22 short revolver. So I don't even have to go around behind to see that that hole goes all the way through. It did clear the half inch pine board. So you guys know what that means. That's right. That means we're going to put more boards up here. And we're going to see how many that that little bullet will go through. And we're going to catch that bullet. So I've got five half inch pine boards set up here. I've got a little bit of space between each one. Let's shoot that and see how many that bullet will go through. All right, so I'm gonna make a guess. I think it's gonna go through the first board and the second board is gonna catch it. Probably wrong. I've been wrong on a lot of these so far. Uh, can't go through life being afraid to be wrong. One way to find out. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Bullet hole in the first board, but look at that. That bullet hit completely sideways. It keyholed. That's what they call a keyhole. So that bullet was not stable, and it was tumbling as soon as it left the barrel and hit that sideways. And hey, there's the bullet. Look at that. I haven't touched it yet, but there's the bullet. We'll look closer at that in a minute see how many we went through okay so it just put it put a dent on the second board it went through the first board put a dent on the second one and came out right there but since that key holding hit sideways I'm gonna shoot it again I'm gonna straighten this up and I'm gonna shoot this again to see if it'll make any difference if I hit it with one that didn't key hold All right, gonna try this one more time. Punched a much cleaner hole that time. You can see compared to this one that hit sideways. And that one hit a little bit wonky, 
it didn't hit perfect but it's much better than that one so I'm gonna pull this clamp off and see how far that one went if I can do it without knocking all these over but oh there we go all right so it went through the first one actually the back of that one's blew out pretty bad now and it went there's the bullet whoa went crazy on the zoom there so there's the bullet we'll set that to the side over here by the first bullet and it made a pretty good impression into that second piece of half inch pine pretty deep into it definitely hit that second piece a lot harder than the first one did possibly due to that first board being compromised from already being hit i probably should have switched that out with a fresh board but i didn't so here's a look at those bullets this is the first one i fired this is the second one they're both chewed up pretty bad they're beat up about as bad as we have seen in these tests with the exception of the deck of cards i think that bullet was flattened out even worse than these when i shot the full deck of cards but there you have it and i have had noticed that this revolver key holds a lot we haven't saw that much in this series usually it's hitting nose first and then tumbling once it hits but as you saw today it does keyhole sometimes and that's due to this it has a very poor crown i don't know how well the camera will pick that up probably not well at all but you can see the crown there is just a little bit wonky looking and i believe that's why this little revolver doesn't stabilize bullets very well but anyway that's going to do it for today's video you guys always remember if someone asks you to give up a little of your freedom for the greater good that freedom is the greater good and i'll talk with y'all again soon